Right there. So this is my um, smart watch by uh, Samsung, and so this is a watch phone. So I can monitor the steps that I take mm -hmm. every day. I can also answer my phone on it. I can take pictures on it. Mm -hmm. I can read my emails. Mm -hmm. I can also use it as a remote control. Wow. So technology right at your fingertips. At my fingertips. That's what it's about. They already know here. Everything is done electronically. Mm. That's even including our emails. They get emails from me. They're, they're weekly notes or emails. They have to invite me on the calendar to their events as far as meetings, parental meetings, IEPs. Everything is electronically. I have a centrally centralized calendar that every staff member has access to and they will be able to invite myself as well as other staff members or other support staff to their meetings mm -hmm. when it's dealing with the concerns of the kids as well as for our calendar for field trips or events that's going on. You know, we're, we at Jerry White support technology because TRIG is very important. And with the TRIG training, all it has done is help to be able to open up the broad, horizon, broad horizons of the technology here at Jerry White. Very good. And what about the coaches that you selected? Do you trust that they can carry out this mission of technology throughout your building? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, my two coaches are awesome, um, Miss Ellery and Miss Stewart. Um, actually, Miss Ellery is also my, my data person. Mm -hmm. So all of our data up in the building and things like that, they work together with that because as uh, Miss Ridgeway is one of her five pillars, you know, this got to be data driven. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We thank over you here, technology at Jerry L. White. Thank you. For Mona Benson, I'm the assistant principal at Jerry L. White Center. And uh, today I would like to tell you how I'm working with the trade program as well as how it has helped our staff and how they're using it. Um, well, for me, working with the TRIG program, right now I'm actually on module eight. And um, one of the things that I like about this particular module is the blended learning. Uh, I've watched the video and I've just got finished posting a response. And what I like is how you can incorporate um, what you do in the classroom and that's coupled with teaching students online. And that would be the blending portion. And it's not just in isolation. It's not just straight teaching from online, as well as it's just not straight teaching from the classroom. And the teachers would blend the learning. Now I have to say that some of our teachers are somewhat incorporating that with the technology that they're using into the classroom. What this particular module is going to do is teach them how to blend that online where the students can actually look at them while they're teaching if we're not in class. For example, yesterday we had a snow day and that would be a perfect opportunity for the students to blend their learning what they have already had learned previously and they could be online with, the, with their teacher as well as when they came back to school today they would be maximizing that learning into the classroom. And that's what we've been learning here at Jerry O. White with the TRIG program and again we're so enthralled to have the program and 
come on back one day and check us out. coordinator for the technology readiness course and I'm here with my partner Angelita Davis who is doing the filming and we are at the beautiful Jerry L. White Center and we are here with two coaches that work on the trig course here at Jerry L. White. We have Lenore Ellery and we have Renee Stewart and they are the awesome coaches here. We just heard from those two wonderful administrators that are also involved which makes a difference so I want to ask you ladies a few questions about the technology readiness course so we'll start with Renee what do you think about give us some highlights okay uh, one particular highlight is the uh, access to the um, what is it the Google in which case you have so many options of sharing and saving information and developing your digital portfolio. It's a very powerful tool. And so it has empowered our staff uh, in using the technology for our own purposes as well as with the classroom. The T3 course has been an awesome tool for our entire staff. Since our students are going towards online assessments, we're learning at any place, any time, any pace, Technology gives the students the tools that they need to learn anywhere, any place, at any pace. Well, we have found out, my colleagues and I, a very wonderful resource is the Michigan Electronic Library. We uh, talked about that in Module 2, and during our training, we still bring a portion of that up because there is a plethora of activities that students can do. It's free and it's by through the state of Michigan uh, our students do online reading there's research they can do it's just so much that they can do students can work at their own pace of, pace and they're very comfortable using that and we are too as a staff um, the, the T3 course has also alleviated a lot of technology phobias amongst our staff and students the internet is not going anywhere it's always been here it's going to be here for a while. Myself, I am a digital uh, implant, meaning that I was here before the internet. Our students, today's students, are the digital natives. They're here with the internet. Uh, the internet, they're partners, they're working together. Our students, uh, the paper and pencil, that's becoming a thing of the past. Uh, for instance, our students who are doing research, we can have students uh, with the Google, the cloud computing, they can have, they can work with somebody in Australia, in Texas, New York, they can work with somebody in Canada, and they can all work on the same research and collaborate. As the internet has made our world much smaller, uh, a lot of our students, uh, they are going to collaborate with people from all over the world. And technology is the tool, the magic carpet into the digital age. I have two questions for you, Mrs. Stewart. The first one, and just tell us about your facility because we want them to see that um, it's not just the regular education buildings that participate in this um, initiative. And I know your building is a different building, so tell us what you, what type of students you're climbing here. Well, uh, the center-based program uh, involves various uh, categories. One in particular would be the moderately cognitively impaired group, we also have severely impaired, the um, severely uh, cognitively impaired, and we have autistic. So with that blend, um, this does make us a unique setting. Um, we range from students who are in the ages of, well, I think the highest we would go would be 20. And uh, we then begin at, uh, just out of middle school. So the students transition from other center-based programs into ours uh, for a high school level. 
Uh, we do have to have some very unique strategies in approaching the needs of our students as their abilities and performance levels range from very low, perhaps maybe pre-primer up to possibly third and fourth grade. Our goal is to prepare students so that they're able to transition to, for example, a vocational center or programs, uh, actual job opportunities we are able to do at times. They work at Blue Cross Blue Shield. They can transition to the DMC. So we, we, we aim high for our students uh, if we can prepare them for uh, levels of work that involve, uh, actually they are able to, to gain uh, employment as well as benefits and move on in life and be very functional individuals. Our assessment uh, programs are based upon functional, supported, and participation levels. And that's pretty much how we uh, assess our students. With, and they do take the my access uh, assessment as well. Which is going to be online. Absolutely. It, it's, it's piloting for that uh, right now. Still pencil and paper, but we're, we're preparing them for the uh, electronic. This staff is wonderful. I've uh, attended several of their professional developments as they work with their staff and taking them through the course and I noticed something unique. Their, their principal and assistant principal are right here with them every time in every session and they have this sticker uh, program that I want them to share with you because they're excited about getting these stickers on their folder and I'm and I'm sure it's to, it's to help each other, but sure. I want you to explain that. Well, I think uh, that's wonderful. The participants uh, can will be awarded stickers based on various um, reasons, uh, particularly assisting each other, wanting to develop that team approach. So if um, a participant knows something about a particular module or is very skilled in that and they choose to assist another participant, and we immediately uh, reward that with stickers and it went over very well. They, they were excited about it because I did promise to uh, make it a culminating experience that they would, whoever had the most stickers would then move towards a prize or something of that sort. So, but the idea is to keep the motivation up, to uh, be a community of learners uh, that people help each other and some know something that others don't know, so we're sharing, and, and that's the whole idea behind it. So. And it's amazing at what they've learned. These ladies just came in, they didn't go through the summer training, but they came in around September, October, and have just taken off. And it's just amazing to see their participation and excitement. So if you want to share anything else before we close out, Ms. Ellery? I just want to say that we are extremely blessed. We have uh, two of the very best administrators in the district, Ms. Moore Patton, uh, Ms. Vincent. They have given us 110 support uh, percent uh, support of what we've done. We're blessed to have all the technology. And the thing that we have learned the most is the motivation of working together. We all learn from each other as we work together. Uh, we teach the students, we learn from the students. And it's, it's a blended, family learning community.